Hello YouTube, welcome to new version of OpenBSD system. So now we have 6.6 .6 that we can grab from internet and always download OpenBSD from official locations and official mirrors. So if you're a complete beginner, always use this link, official website, okay? So you can go to download section here and you can choose between a couple of architectures. So in my case, that will be ISO, uh, which is less than 400 megabytes for this architecture. And if you have uh, IMD machines, uh, you probably want to grab this. But okay, let's just, uh, yeah, I need to grab this one. I already actually have it on my system prepared for this video. So just remember that when you are downloading OpenBSD versions, XX here means, uh, for example, 6.5 or 6.6 .6 versions. So XX, that's just for version. And install will actually always, always be the same. And ISO is, of course, type of uh, file. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Right, so I'm going to use Oracle Virtual Machine. In your case, that can be something else. So new, a name will be OpenBSD, let's say 6.6. .6. And in your case, you can put whatever you like here. So location of machine uh, type will be BSD, of course. And I will go for testing purposes. Uh, I will go with 32 bit next. Okay, uh, memory allocation. Let's play around up to, let's say f four gigs. I can allocate that much in this case. We're gonna create a virtual hard disk and that will be disk image and dynamic or fixed size. So for something serious, you probably want to go with fixed size. And of course, when you're using real machines, well, that's pretty much fixed. So for testing purposes, I will just play around with dynamic uh, allocation. And let's say 16 gigabytes, that will be too much. I will go with four, let's say. Yeah, this is throwaway installation. So four will get the job done. Right, so next thing we need to go to settings to, let me see, uh, optical must be first in a boot order, okay, and the floppy is last one, hard disk in the middle. Uh, let me see what else, video memory, let's hire that up. Storage, yeah, this is the place where you need to define your ISO location, so click on empty, click here, and uh, choose uh, that ISO file that you have on your system, that you have grabbed from official website, OpenBSD official website or mirrors. So click here, in my case, open. And uh, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. Let me check one more time, optical. Okay, storage. Okay, audio. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. Okay, so let's run it to see what's up. Hopefully everything will be fine. Come on, man. Yeah, that's it. And uh, I'm gonna press, everything works. I'm gonna press Control C to have, uh, to have a little bit better display here. So allow me a couple of seconds here. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Uh, just a second. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, this will get the job done. Anyway, let's see what's up. Let me just check, is this recording? Yeah, cool. So, uh, welcome to OpenBSD installations procedure. I'm gonna type uh, this for installation, manual stuff. Choose keyboard layout, default, so enter. System host name, uh, machine. Uh, network interface, uh, okay, default one, so I'm gonna press enter. IP version 4 address uh, will be, uh, we will get it with dynamic host control protocol, dynamic IP, so enter. Uh, okay, this is fake Mac or Mac. I mean, it's not fake, it's virtual. Okay, so IP version 4, nothing, so enter. Which network interface do you wish to configure? Done. DNS domain name. Whatever, type whatever you like here. And password for root account. And again, a start a secure login by default. 
Yes. Do you expect to run graphical stuff? Yes. Do you want to X Windows system to be started by? Well, no. Set up a user. Well, name will be user. Who cares? Full name for user? User. Password for user. And again. And root is targeted by password guessing attacks. I know. Allow root SSH login. Well, yes. Login. Time zone. Who cares? Which disk is the root disk? Okay, WD0 in my case. So use whole disk or edit. I'm gonna use whole of it for four gigs. So enter. Okay, auto layout. Because this is a system, we can go with auto layout, but in production, in reality, you probably wanna learn how to do custom um, partition here. Custom partitioning, okay, custom layout. So enter and that will uh, be auto layout. And now OpenBSD will do some stuff. So location of sets, I mean files, enter, same thing, enter. And these are sets. So we're gonna just press done here, I mean enter. Directory does not contain signature, continue without verification. Yes, in this case, and in a couple of minutes this will be done so maybe i will just po pause this video i mean not pause but cut this video for some minutes or seconds it depends what's gonna happen okay so location of sets now uh, everything is pretty much done so just press enter time appears wrong who cares <coughs> making device nodes relinking kernel and some changes, internal stuff, so... Right, so everything is done, congratulations, your OpenBSD install has been successfully completed. I'm gonna just press enter here, and that's pretty much it in this uh, level of installation. So let me just uh, stop this execution here, because we need to change <coughs> actual boot order right so settings and where is that thing system hard disk must be at the first place and okay and start and let's see what's up i think that everything will be fine some changes uh some uh, some things will be done in the meantime because 6.6 .6 version is a little bit different than 6.5 there are there are some drastical changes when you are installing stuff, so let me just get into this mode and you will see in a split of a second what I'm talking about. Um, basically you will be asked if you like to reboot your system again. Okay, that's it. So see this line, CPU microcode has been updated, reboot to apply. Uh, I think that was n not an option in 6.5 version. So checking for available binary patches and this will be done in a, in a couple of seconds or minutes. Okay, that's pretty much it. So let's log in. Root, password, and I have mail, I don't care. That's default stuff. Clear and let's get into graphical interface, typing start X and yeah, we are in. So the first thing you want to do, well at least what I do, is go to uh, left click to modules and to background. And now I have this really nice default background. I really love this stuff. It reminds me about Windows 98 SE and uh, uh, also Windows 2000 or 2003. I really like those simple, simple uh, backgrounds and systems. So. If you want to higher up a little bit this uh, terminal, you can uh, press shift and plus in the same time, couple of times. And yeah, so that's maximum. So now let's type top to see what's up. Uh, okay, well, this is virtual machine, so that's, that's a bearable. And what is activated by default, this, this uh, mail server look really scary, so yeah, I need to work on this system a little bit more. So yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much it. So you can ping Google 
If you have dynamic allocation of IP addresses from your router, your ISP or whatever you're doing. So that's pretty much it. If you wanna, for example, install any kind of application, you will type package add, uh, that's for verbosity and nmap. And now you will go through a couple of phases here. But I'm gonna cancel this installation because it will took me uh, some time. And the point of this video was to teach you how to get in a couple of uh, sec oh, sorry, not seconds, but minutes OpenBSD on your system. Now the reason why I use OpenBSD is purely economical, much more than security. Uh, because I don't need to think about OpenBSD when I'm devel developing businesses and startups and uh, doing programming and stuff. I just do my stuff, okay? And OpenBSD handles security. Some people will say it is slow, it is too, too simple. I don't care. I just wanna be focused on getting things done. And Windows is, you know, Windows security-wise. And um, Linux is, it's nice, it's beautiful, but God damn it, there is a lot of it out there. It's it, it's uh, decentralized. You don't know what's in source code. Um, I'm always in fear of some kind of malware or trying horses or, or some malicious scripts. And uh, with Windows, you don't have almost any kind of uh, option to check what is inside of your system what is inside of source code so situation is even worse security uh, wise if you are look if you care about security look i'm just saying that uh, windows look windows is a nice system uh, for some people linux for some other people and i use all these systems when i need them but open bsd is something that i want to put in a corner of the room uh, and i just forget on it for 10 years and the damn thing works okay so the the open bsd will work and probably you will have problem with power supplies and monitors and, and and even cables maybe if you trip over it but still when you fix that open bsd will still run okay so i really really uh want to say uh thank you for open bsd community for providing us uh this beautiful system Anyway, I'm going to shut up and let's just turn this thing off. Shut down. Oops. Shut down H now. And that's pretty much it. Oops. That's that's normal. Don't worry. So here you will see. Yeah, this please press any key to reboot. So let's go to file close really quickly power off the machine. And that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. This was a test installation of 6.6 .6 OpenBSD system, 32-bit version. And now you can play around with, uh, with this if you are a total beginner. Thank you for watching. As always, see you in next tutorials.